Feels like my dad are nice one. Not a nice large mouth. And they just keep getting better. Real nice small mouth. That's a heck of a channel cab. Real fast. When I rig a piece of chicken liver, I use about a two or a three aught octopus hook. And I just use a single hook, I don't use a treble hook. Try to get it on there the best I can, I don't go through it too many times. Depending on where I fish, sometimes I like to use a really big piece, or sometimes just a small piece is good. But, I'll take another one on this one. Look at that ball of chicken liver and the size of that fish that ate it. Don't be scared to put a big hunk out there. Just try to get it on there the best you can. That's about what I do. I want to be able to feel the point of the hook just sticking through. But you also want the hook to hold as much of the liver as possible. It's a pretty good size right there. Got a big channel on. Using chicken liver for bait. Fishing in a pond. Not using any sinkers. Just, just a big ball of liver and a two watt hook. Oh, it's a nice fish. Got a run on chicken liver. Oh, I got it. It's a big one too. This one isn't even realizing that it's hooked yet. Well, I've got him, but straight down there. He's heavy. He's pulling. Just bulldogging. Really taking off, and I can't really move him. He's just sitting there. I can feel him swimming. See how heavy he is. I'm moving a little bit. Almost thought it was a turtle at first. Oh, it's a big turtle. Man, that was odd. That's the downside of using chicken liver. I don't even really got him. He's hooked in the shell. I don't have him even hooked in the mouth. Let me see if I can get this hook out. There we go. Leatherback. Let go. Just gonna take your time with them. Just use a light line. It's got a medium action rod on. This is a really big fish, man. It's just, I can't move him. There he goes. Alright, it's gonna get tough here. I've got three pylons underneath this dock. There he goes. Get them up close, though. I've lost a couple of really nice fish right at the dock here because they'll wrap your line around those pylons. Big fat channel cat. Try to get him up. Oh, there he goes again. This is awesome. It's truly awesome. These are really strong fish. I'm not getting anywhere with him. I had him close and This is a really heavy fish, man. Let's see if I'm getting him. There he is. Nice. Got him hooked right in the mouth. Look at that channel cat. That's a monster. Get a measurement on him main thing is we weigh, try to get this fish back as soon as possible, not hurting, these are trophy fish, and if you get them back they'll be there tomorrow, man what a nice fish, somebody's line wrapped around it, what a nice fish, about 33 and a half inches, I like to run a stringer through. Now if that stringer through then turn on my scales. We'll get a good weight on her. It's flush. 
what you eating. It's fluctuating between 16 and 17. We'll just call it a flat 17 pound channel cat. Beautiful fish, man. What a battle. All right, what a heavy fish. All right. 17 pound, 33 and a half inch channel cat. Turn her loose. It's gone. Rods in the Dirt has a brand new website. Please go check it out.